Folks, I am Pastor Nate with Deliverance Revolution. I want to thank you for joining us here today. Welcome to video one from the playlist of videos to view if you're seeking one-on-one -on -one deliverance with Pastor Nate. Okay, so in other words, translated, these are the videos to watch if you want to do one-on-one -on -one deliverance with Pastor Nate. Okay. Uh, we do require that you watch several of these short ones, pray some prayers, etc. We just want to make sure everything's on the up and up, everything's understood. We do have experience in doing this. We've done a lot of these. We've seen a lot of people get free. Um, thank you to uh, my boss, Jesus, behind us. Um, so let's get started. This is video one. Welcome. Hello, I am Pastor Nate Thompson of DeliveranceRevolution.org. Get you a pad and pen, folks, if you want. Uh, I'll give you a second there. DeliveranceRevolution.org. Okay. Anybody know how to spell deliverance? There, DeliveranceRevolution.org. I am a non-denominational. I am an ordained Christian minister. I believe in the Bible from cover to cover. And I am an avid pursuer of Jesus Christ. This is my boss right here. Okay. I take instructions from him. Uh, contrary to how he looks, he's very much alive. He is literally alive, folks. Okay. Um, and don't worry. Like I said, contrary to how he looks, he's very much alive, and we do communicate with him daily. And many precious souls, just like yourself, have seen his power demonstrated on a daily basis. So if you're watching this video right now, I suspect that you're probably very much in need from the demonic. Now, let's talk about that a second. Let's clarify what that is. You want to make it real simple? And really listen to this. Write this down. Pretty much anything except cutting yourself and needing stitches, that's legitimate where you need a doctor. And pretty much falling down and breaking a bone, that's pretty much legitimate. You need a doctor to reset and put a cast on. Folks, almost everything else, from being in a bad mood to being angry, to sexual deviance, perversion, wanting to kill, rape, murder, play with guns, is demonic. It is literally that out of control. Unless you're feeling what Paul described in Galatians 5.22 as the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control, it's demonic. That's what I'm telling you, folks. So schizophrenia. It's demonic. Notice doctors can't cure it, okay? Fibromyalgia, another great one. They give that diagnosis for anything from swollen toes to itchy burning skin in different locations. All of these come with heavy medications, heavy bills from psychiatrists and psychologists, and they load you down with stuff. It's demonic possession. Excuse me. Demonic. If you're a born-again Christian, you have Christ in, excuse me, the Holy Spirit in your spirit, even if it's the size of a BB. They can't get in your spirit. It's like it's in a jar, and they're looking through the outside, wanting to get in it, but they can't get in that, okay? And get in your soul, mind, and body. That's your heart, your brain, your muscles, that kind of thing, okay? All righty, so let's keep moving on. So these are probably the various reasons and you've narrowed it down to being demonic, okay? So if you have a drug or alcohol problem, I've got some background there. Be glad to help you there. For those who make a lot of money, entrepreneurs, you know, you've done the big house, big car thing. Pastor Nate's done that, got experience in all that. Uh, even those who've gotten mixed up in paranormal and occult. Now, I haven't gotten mixed up in occult, um, but paranormal, I would say, uh, was part of my training when Father was training me for this. Well, let's call it Christian paranormal work, which basically means I wasn't speaking to the dead, but I've sure recorded a lot of it, and I've seen a lot of it. Whew. I, I mean, that's it, about the only way you can prepare to fight the enemy. That's why when so many of you call me, excuse me, and you're talking to me, say, well, you probably won't believe this, you probably won't believe that. That's why I always believe you, because there's pretty much not much that Pastor Nate hadn't seen or done point for this, guys, if you feel like it's real important, that you be able to relate to the person that's leading you out of the darkness into the light. And Pastor Nate's probably your man. I just want to be clear. Also, please allow me to be clear here. If you are seeking deliverance 
or exorcism, which in my book is pretty much the same thing. Unless a little slovenly there, let me sit up. Um, pretty much the same thing in my view. I need you to watch several of these videos first, and after that, we'll have a few prayers for you to say. But this assumes you're watching this to seek one-on-one -on -one deliverance time with Pastor Nate or healing. If you are, then this is the route you need to take. I will give you the one-on-one -on -one time, but you will need to do the things the, the way I show you how to do them, okay? And not on your own. This may sting a little bit, but it's your best judgment. It's your best thinking that got you to this point, okay? Even if you got a generational curse mixed in there, it's your best thinking that got you to where you are today. Okay, here's the next one. This one to surprise you. This one's going to be hard for most of you. 95% of your own thoughts are not your own. It's just that simple, folks. 95% of your own, your thoughts are not your own, folks. And you're going to see that more and more as we work together. Because I'll say things like, well, how does that pertain to honoring the kingdom? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't. Well, how does that pertain to the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace? Well, I guess it doesn't. I said, well, then why would you think of that? You're a born-again, spirit-filled Christian. Why would that thought come to you? Jesus wouldn't promote it in you, that thought. The Holy Spirit wouldn't put that forward. Though. Well, I guess not. Isn't that some of that just natural? No. None of it's natural to think like that. No, it's demonic. And you have a lot of problems. Look, I can cite story after story after story, and I will with a lot of you. I won't give out names, but I'll cite story after story of people in bondage and how they're getting a lot of deliverance. Uh, oh man, they make all kinds of mistakes, but it's all out war. The enemy's going to tell you a lot of crazy things about me and try to attack this in any way it can, okay? So, here's another thing. Additionally, if you're looking for a one-shot prayer and believe you're going to be free from the enemy just that quick, you're probably going to be disappointed. It typically doesn't work that way. I'm going to cover this more in depth when we work together. Oh yeah, and in case you're wondering, everything I ask you to do, pray or read, comes with hard experience of having worked with several hundred people and seeing them get free. Okay, so the videos will connect one video after another at the end of each video, or you can watch them all in one playlist if you want to go to the YouTube channel, which is www.youtube.com forward slash freedom from demons. So just remember, go to youtube.com. How do you find my channel? Put in a forward slash behind the dot com and write the words all long, no spaces, freedom from demon. And you'll go to Pastor Nate's channel. And once you've watched all these videos, there's not many. I mean, they're going to be in one playlist, okay, guys? Okay, you remember the playlist from the front if you want deliverance with Pastor Nate. That's the playlist you're going to watch, okay? Now, while you're at the, well, let me say this at the end. Let me say that at the end, okay? And once you've watched the videos we direct you to watch, I want you to go to the website, deliverance, www.deliverancerevolution.org. We're going to show you some prayers that you're either going to download or pray off the website. Whichever you prefer is fine. I know many of you are wondering, is there a cost for this, all this? So let me say right up front, we believe Matthew 10 8, where Jesus said, well, the whole thing goes like, uh, and Jesus called his 12 disciples to him, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. Freely you've received, freely give. Okay, we believe in that. All right. Here's the problem. We did that the first year and brought in six hundred dollars and spent thirteen thousand. What we learn, guys, <laughs> it's really not funny. I mean, it's cost us so much. Is people in needing deliverance are in horrible bondage. Most of them's finances going down. Well, I didn't know all this part. I didn't realize you guys couldn't give or you see yourself as victims and the enemy makes you see this. Some of you got tons of money and great jobs and you just can't bring yourself to give. Um, I would send out mailers. It's funny. I, I try to support this group of Kenyan orphans and widows. They got jiggers in their feet and some of them are dying and I'll send out the list of these kids with pictures are so precious to the list of people I got from doing deliverance on, only four of them will click on links. In other words, they're just as hard and cold and callous as you could ever imagine. So I am picking on you guys a little bit, um, but here's where it's a problem and it's not funny. The reason that you're in financial shape that you are is you've got financial strongholds all over you, okay? You've probably broken God's law. You probably haven't given or contributed, let alone tithe. And if you are tithing, you 
probably you're doing it at a cold dead church, which doesn't give you any real seed capital, doesn't give you any seed harvest, okay? Um, give me an example. The Kenyan orphans that I was talking about. Uh, I was given $100 one time, and I was went to pray about it. I come back, and there's $500 in the box. So I knew Papa had done that. Angels had done that. Uh, Papa, God, Abba, Father, had stuck in 500 So I went ahead and did it. It was half the money I got. And uh, he immediately started blessing it the next week. But not only that, he told to a prophet, he said, that is 50 times seed return. 50 times. You realize what that means? 500 times 50 is... Or maybe he said a hundred times. That's fifty thousand. That five hundred dollars is gonna turn into fifty thousand, guys. Okay, so that's what most of you need. You don't realize that not tithing. God said you're robbing me of tithing and offering. Paul tells us in first I think it's chapter thirteen or ten, first Corinthians ten, twenty or something, that you're to be cheerful givers. In Luke six it says, you know, test me basically. Uh, if you tithe and give, God will just, anyway, there's plenty on that. We don't need to get into that, okay? But here's the bottom line. Um, technically speaking, we do not charge, I'm sorry, I did get carried away. We do not charge for the prayer and healing that you're going to receive through mighty Jesus. But having said that, we're not going to work with people who are not generous and do not desire to give a love gift or show financial appreciation of the blessing. And I'm not talking about 10 or $20. Folks, if you give 10 or $20, I'm, I'm going to be done. You will not be able to get this. And if you go see, I mean, you know, I love him, but uh, what's his name? Larry something. $1,000 in-house, 500 over the phone. Um, you can go to Jay Bartlett around. He's got con conferences. You just have to give at the uh, thing. Now, he's got one-on-ones. That's real expensive. Um, there's some other miscellaneous names around the country who do it for free, but I don't think they're going to last long because they, how can you? How can you just do something for free forever if, if nobody, And but that's not the point. People need, people need to, to contribute to their own deliverance and healing. I mean, my goodness, this is to be the greatest event in your life received from the Son of God through what he went through on that cross. And you're not going to contribute to it? I mean, that, that'd be unheard of. That would be, that'd be harsh. So anyway, um... We will address this at much greater uh, depth in video two. Okay, so it is a very important aspect of your getting free so you can get blessings you're entitled to. So here we go. In summary, proceed to video two after this video, which it's almost over, and it should start right if this video done is done. If not, go to the site, www.youtube.com forward slash freedom from demons. Look for the playlist that says watch these videos for to receive deliverance, one-on-one -on -one deliverance, okay? And the other thing I want you to do, I mean, you made my glasses to see this. Um, I want you to understand what deliverance is about. So there's a playlist there on the channel that says Real Demon Speaking, hyphen, recorded deliverance sessions. It doesn't mean your deliverance session is going to be that way, folks, but it very well could be. Uh, so I'd like you to watch that and understand what it is we're doing also want you to understand that Pastor Nate knows what he's doing, but again, your session doesn't have to be that way. We'll get into again, because there is no cost. It's free. But folks, you're going to be required to make a love or appreciation gift. You're going to even pray to break off these financial strongholds that are on you so you can receive blessings in your life. This is a complete mentorship. So right now, if you're if the demonic entity is giving you thoughts of, oh, this guy's a con man, oh, this guy's a slick, you got two choices. You can either go with it, we'll see you once you're flat on your face and lost everything in an alley and really in bad shape, normally how it goes. Or you can say, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, get out of me, stop with the lies, and continue on with this mentorship and deliverance and healing. We love you very much. We thank you for coming here. We uh, feel honored that God brought you this far. So watch these short videos, do the prayers, and I'll be glad to help you one-on-one, -on -one, okay? I love you. We'll talk to you soon. All righty. Bye-bye. Let me see if I can get my... No, I can't get my exit music because I let it run. I can't do my music like that.